hello and welcome back to A Better World. This is your host, Mitchell J. Rabin, and I'm very glad you're joining us again today. Today we are on location again with another one of New York's finest body workers. She does a tremendous amount of really exclusive work. Denise Galan, here in the, on East 17th Street, we're in her studio, and she does work that other people across the United States actually are not doing. She is the exclusive teacher to, of a work called Indian Champassage, which is Ayurvedic head massage, as well as foot massage. And you'll be seeing both of these demonstrated today as our show goes on. And Denise has been doing some really excellent work for many years now in the New York area. And she goes beyond teaching and doing s private sessions with people. And I wanted to have her on the show today because some of the work she's doing is really very unique and really high quality and I wanted you all to know about this work that she's doing. I've had a chance to experience some of it and I'll have a chance again today. And you'll come to see, I believe, in just one show, some of what Denise brings to the party. So, talking about parties, she was an opera singer for many years before getting involved in holistic health and healing. And maybe I'll just ask you, how did you go from, first of all, welcome. Welcome. Glad to have you on. Pleasure to have you here in my space. Well, thank you. It's really a pleasure to be here. It has lots of good associations and memories for me now, you know, because the work is really excellent that you're doing. How is it that you went, Denise, from being an opera singer and being on stages in Europe and America to working on the way you're doing now? Well, Mitchell, as uh, an opera singer, if you're ill, you're out of work. So keeping yeah. myself healthy, I learned a lot about herbalism, both Chinese and Ayurvedic herbs, and uh, became a doctorate in that, and had the pleasure of finding my body teacher, Mr. Narendra Mehta, in England while mm. I was singing in London there. Oh. And he gave me such a brilliant treatment that I then went back to London several times and brought him to the United States to teach a class here. And nice. I was sort of tricked into taking the class myself. And uh, while I you were still singing, singing opera. opera, I said, oh, I'm an opera singer. I'm a diva. I don't do that. <laughs> and diva. I guess it's just. Burunilda. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, absolutely. And it was did just. Did you do that part? I did not. I was what you call a young Lisha, dramatic soprano. Oh, oh. So I, I did sing Wagner, though. Uh -huh. And uh -huh. uh, a really exciting time of my life. Yes, yes. But Mr. Mehta had done such brilliant work with me, and he was the first massage person to say to me, would you like me to relax you or stimulate you? Have you ever heard anybody say that? And I, of course, chose relaxation. I could barely get off a chair. However, in Chinese medicine, as you know, we have the tonifying and the sedating points. Absolutely. So it's not a foreign idea. It depends on what the body itself is calling for and the, and the flow of the chi. Right, right. Well, Mr. Meta relaxed me so much that I had one of the best night's sleep I ever had in my life. And I went back to feel the relaxing treatment. And I said, you have to come to the United States so I don't have to keep coming to London for you. <laughs> Well, it, after all, you were a diva. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> He's probably exactly. going to listen. <laughs> and now that I don't sing anymore, this is just such a brilliant, loving modality to give to people. Yes. And I know what they're feeling because yes. I experienced that. It's uh, certainly. I just came up with a really interesting idea, Denise. Yes. What if, while you were working on their heads or their shoulders or their feet you say oh, i think it might be a little loud <laughs> down if you does it <laughs> well one but thing, that's not a bad idea I can did, you imagine absolutely the singing massage therapist <laughs> i mean talk about a, a niche you know i think it might anyway, be fun think about it i did think of uh recording using singing bowls so that it was a really healing experience. Yeah. And then playing the singing bowls, you know, the CD while I was working, 
Uh, I think it's a bit loud if you're actually doing it. And uh, I have toned after a treatment. Yes. Uh, just to bring somebody back out to feel the vibration. Right. Because uh, sound is very healing as well. Of course. In fact, when it's one I, of the original healing modalities. Yes. When I was an opera singer, I.